As we all know, Cyrax has always been a bit of a coward. But the level of cowardice displayed when one of his arch rivals, Music Biz Marty, came to town was truly something special. In September of last year, Cyrax had been doing his usual cycle of shit talking, getting trolled, and running off of YouTube. However, presumably on his stream yard, he would continue to accuse Marty of murdering someone close to him. You all know who, I'm not getting into that out of respect. Cyrax would also post a photo of himself holding the decapitated head of Marty. Eventually, Marty grew tired of this nonsense and did a call out of his own in a fairly powerful video made even more so by the expert level editing by the hippies. You are deluded, demented, and deranged. And I'm here to do one of two things. One, super night in Northfield Park in Northfield, Ohio. But two, I'm here for an intervention. Not even for your own sake, but for Sally's, for Ed's, 14 year old kids, anyone and everyone who has been a victim of you, which is quite a long list. Now, I know that you're up in arms about your PayPal, and you want your PayPal back, right? You can forget about that. The only way you're going to get access to your PayPal with your three dollars in it or whatever is going to be to meet me like a man. Now, I need to get back to Northfield Park pretty soon, but I will be back in the area later tonight once the Super Night has concluded. But I will also be going to Little Mike's to let them know what you've been up to and just what kind of person you are. I will be going to New York style pizza and letting them know that you've been using their son's name for attention for no reason whatsoever. Sorry, actually, all this has got to stop, and you don't seem to be capable of doing it on your own. So I'm here to help you. One way. Naturally, Rax didn't take kindly to this and made a response of his own. You're fooling yourself. If you believe any of what you said, you need to get the fuck over yourself. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to come back. And I'm sorry to say it's not going to work. You can take your idiotic bullshit that you're trying to pull. And honestly, you can go fuck yourself. Suddenly, a wild Marty appeared. It was super effective. As Marty waited at Summit Lake by Chance's house, he promised him that he'd be back later that day. In typical fashion, Chance would do a stream about this and respond to Marty, who was in the chat. This prompted another return from the Goblin King of Akron, mostly because... Apparently a certain fucking douchebag doesn't know how to let shit go. Apparently a certain fucking bitch-ass wannabe, music faggot boy Marty, whom I stood up for many times over. You guys have seen me stand up for the guy. Apparently... He wants to be a backstabbing little bitch. Oh, what to do? You drive by my house. So what? You ain't gonna get out of your car and do shit. You're doing it because you fear me, nigga. I had your fucking back, nigga. And this is how you repay me? And don't think I'm gonna fucking show up there, bro, because I ain't giving you that satisfaction. You're addicted to drama, bro, and you need to get the fuck off me. This rant included the usual string of insults and angry frothing, including this little ditty. You're a disgrace to all Jews, man. I'll be honest, man. You're a disgrace to the Jewish community, bro. I mean, look how you act, bro. You're a disgrace to that community. That's right. A grown man holding a guitar bigger than him and an Xbox controller threw racial slurs at someone because he didn't want to get into a fight that only he thought was happening. You can't write this shit, folks. When Chance finally realized Marty was serious, his next plan was not great. And you won't let me live my life in peace, bro. You 
you owe me a goddamn answer, you fucking faggot. So I'm gonna start up the stream yard, and you're gonna get your fat, ugly, faggot ass on there, and you're gonna answer me. Marty had made it clear he was going to see Chance in person, so to avoid this, Chance demanded Marty meet him on stream instead, which made little sense considering the level of aggression and angst he was emitting earlier. And Marty wouldn't take the bait. He did exactly what he'd said he'd do, enjoying the sights and his beloved horse racing. This led to Chance getting more and more desperate as the time ticked by, and the insults increased until finally, he was throwing friends under the bus and practically begging Marty not to show up. Okay, that photo was not aimed at you, my guy. 
You know what I'm saying? That every other motherfucker that has ever tried to fucking pull me down and tried to fuck me over. Okay? And you need to back off. I promise you for sure that the police will be called on you. And I don't think you want to go to jail here in another state. I ain't done a goddamn thing to you, Marty. I thought you were my boy. I thought I was your boy. I thought I was your friend. I'm sorry when I posted that image and I used that to go after other people that have attacked me. I'm sorry if that offended you. That was not aimed at you, man. That same motherfucker that made that memorial image for me, that has my current timeline cover on my Facebook to honor those that meant something to me, that's the dude that made that image. So go after him. Don't go after me. I didn't make that shit. I can send you the email of the motherfucker that did that shit. Don't be going after me. Go after them. That was me using lyrical symbolism for me to show, hey, I can lyrically rip the heads off these motherfuckers and I'm going to do it. That was not aimed at you whatsoever. I'm not trying to fucking fight anybody, bro. I'm not trying to fucking fight anybody, bro. I'm not trying to fucking fight anybody, bro. You know I ain't about the drama, man. You know my situation. You know what's going on. Like, you could have messaged me. If you really had a problem with me, or a problem with that image, why didn't you just message me on Discord? Why didn't you hit me up? Or call me up on Discord and be like, yo, we need to talk. I'm sorry if I offended you, Marty. I'm sorry about that, man. Let's talk this shit out, bro. No making fun of each other. No saying... Okay, let's fucking talk this shit out. Or hell, you can even message me privately on Discord. We can talk about it there. You're not a bad guy. You overweight bitch. I'm asking you, man, as your friend, to stand down, alright? Stand down, bro, and quit the bullshit. Let's talk about this. Message me on Discord, and I'll send you the guy's email address. So you can say something to him. Sorry, Marty. Not gonna happen. I'll talk to you on Discord. I'll talk to you on the phone. I'll talk to you on a live stream. But I'm not gonna talk to you face to face. Because if this is the route that you're going, if this is the route that you are hell-bent on going, then you're not welcome here. I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you in person. And that was that. Cyrax tucked tail and refused to emerge from his home, even for his PayPal. But what would come next would be even more humiliating. After this public debacle, you'd think Cyrax would be done running his mouth, but he continued his baseless accusations against Marty. His next plan of attack was to convince others that Marty was an evil mastermind of some kind who had orchestrated Cyrax's entire downfall. Fucker, that's responsible for Jamie's death! Watch your fuck Jamie's dead corpse, you dumb bitch! Oh. That's, what you're good at. that's what you're good at! So watch him oh. fuck your dead ex that you killed, motherfucker! Listen, so the next I dated, and I hadn't seen her in months, but she yeah. died of the coronavirus. Um, Cyrax, after she had passed, he asked for her nudes. <gasps> yeah, remember that, Cyrax? Asshole! Oh, Marty, by the way. Hey, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. What is he doing? He's whipping his penis out. <laughs> this would become a pretty frequent tactic used by Cyrax in order to get Marty's channel taken down in an effort to stop others from knowing of his cowardice. Hey, playing one of being Billy Badass would really... I don't play wannabe anything. You play wannabe musician, wannabe e-racer, I'm not pretending to be a badass. You are. That's you, dude. You're the only joke here, not me. I ain't the one going around bullying mother- right, Sir, I got a question for you. Let's say that I were to show up back at your house soon, and, and you knew about it. Would you be willing to stand up for yourself, or you all talk? Now, Cyrex was presented with two choices here. Shut the fuck up, and drop the act, or double down and be made a fool. This glorious face he's making here would suggest he took the former, but alas. No, you're damn right if it was to 
Hey, no brother. How's Friday sound for you? How's Friday sound for you, Cyrex? No, all right. You want to know how? <laughs> how's Friday sound for you? What are you doing Friday afternoon? Well, let's see. If you want to get your fake ass knocked the fuck out, then show the fuck up, bro. Hey, what? Where and when? Like, like, is little Mike's okay? Would that work for you? Show up. Go ahead. Show up there. See if I'll knock your fake old piece ass out, bro. So you know, I'm, so you know, I'm gonna be there. So you know, I'm gonna be there. Like, that's established at this point. You can't say that. You had no idea, right? Uh, bring your fat bitch ass up here. See if I'll knock you on your goddamn ass in front of everyone for the whole world to see. And show that just have my. Yeah. Well, what what time's good for you on Friday, Cyrex? Like I said, bro, show the fuck up here and see if I don't knock you the fuck out in front of everybody and embarrass your fake ass. Here, you ain't trying to do shit. You're that's, that's it. Sorry, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'll, I'll be there six between 6 and 7 o'clock on Friday. Look at me, y'all. I'm Music Biz Marty. I like the belly people. I'm lazy as fuck. Oh, well, I'm Music Biz Marty. I'm a great for all these Jewish people. If you want to get your ass knocked the fuck out, I don't give a fuck whether it's 2 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon. I don't give a fuck what day it is. I don't care when you show up. Just show the fuck up here. So you uh, you know that I'm coming. You can't make excuses like you did before. Are, are you agreeable to that? Yeah, bro. Here's the thing about that, dude. I'll be straight up with you. I did not know you were here until after the live stream. I was not paying attention the last time. I did not know that you were here until I got told that. That was not at all me, bro. Guess what? They don't fuck with me no more because they know I can beat Are you talking about Blind Billy Cyrax? The next day, Cyrax would hop on panel again, seemingly sure that Marty wouldn't do the thing he had already done before. But really, he was just there to try to get Marty shut down, as if that was going to stop the inevitable from happening anyway. Worthless trash ass, you! <laughs> hey, white trash! Why shake your ass back to the fucking trailer park, you dumb shit, little ball ass bitch! That happened. You understand that I will be there at 6 p.m. on Friday at Little Mike's. Can you be there? Can you be at Little Mike's on Friday at 6 p.m.? Just like your ancestors, you're a worthless Jew. They ain't shit. You're oh, all no. that. Oh, hell no. You're a bullshit, bro. I know you're not oh, bringing a dog in this place. bro. You're no better than motherfucking Hitler, dog. He was mocked and laughed at appropriately. Cyrex, this is why you're a target. I'm not my mother. I'm going to come over there and punch you. He can't even answer a simple math question Cyrex. because he has 70 points. I know, but he's stupid. Suck my dick, nigger no. Thursday, one day before the rematch, Cyrex went live and tried to come up with some half-baked reasons as to why Marty was still a murderer. It seemed to be more out of spite for the fact he had been so publicly humiliated before. But regardless, Rax would take every opportunity on the way to this next meeting to make a complete ass of himself. Like seriously, this bitch right here was strung out. Is there a reason why you think his mom always just moves him right on in? Like, she wants yeah, crazy. because she's hoping that somebody will get with her son, I think, and like take care of him so she won't have to. No offense to Jamie. But if you look at her fucking face, she was strung out and doped the fuck out. It's not hard to see, Marty. He says, you know, the list goes on and on with him. The grandma strangling, the penises to kids, the rape of a blind boy, strangling Heather. We all know that you ain't gonna show up here, motherfucker. We all know this. We all know you ain't got the balls to show up because you're a little bitch. All you're gonna do is sit there behind your keyboard and talk shit. That's all you're gonna do, bro. You need to get the fuck over yourself because we all know that you killed Jamie, dog. So, Marty, have fun being a loser for the rest of your miserable life while I become successful. Yeah, Cyrus is honestly like the biggest bully I've ever seen. His perpetual victimhood is fascinating considering how he treats other people, how aggressive and angry and ornery he is. It's just really really terrible. 
Yeah, allow me to remind everyone real quick that Jamie died a mor morning after she had been streamed for like four hours into the wee hours in the morning. Uh, anyone can go and see what she was doing that night. Later that day, Cyrax had learned a few new big words that he figured he'd try out. I am the victim of an extortion and sex trafficking ring right here on social media. And it's still continuing to this day. And it's because of people like Music Biz Marty. And no, because he ain't gonna show up. Because he's a little bitch. I know Marty ain't gonna show. So I ain't worried about it. You ain't gonna drive all the way down here just to try to beat my ass. So if I were you, I'd sit the fuck down and shut up. And even if you do, you're not gonna come knocking on my door. You ain't gonna come knocking on my door because you're too much of a pussy. So even if you did show up, it wouldn't fucking matter. Because you and I both know you're too chicken shit to come knock on my door and face me like a real man. You ain't gonna show up here. You ain't gonna kill me. You ain't gonna do shit. And unless you want to leave with a busted jaw or end up in a body bag, I suggest you sit your fat fucking lazy ass down and shut the fuck up. And guess what? If the cops do show up, good. I want them to show up. If you want to show up and get your fucking ass beat, then show up. Be stupid. But if my family calls the cops, that ain't on me. If the cops do show up, good. I want them to show up. I want him to show up! Oddly enough, for a guy so ready for round two, Cyrax seemed to be prepping viewers for the police to arrive, almost as if he was certain they'd be there. Yes, ma'am. Well, I was wondering, is there a way that I can speak to a police officer or have an officer out here to speak to them about something? Okay, what's the address, sir? Uh, 339 Lloyd Street. 339, hold on. 339 Lloyd? Yes, ma'am. And what's going on there? Um... For the last two years, I have been being extorted, taken advantage of on the internet, and it's actually affecting my real life. I have gone to the FBI, and they won't do anything. And one of the guys that's actually doing all this shit is supposed to be showing up here tonight, and I would like to set it up to where I can show the police all the stuff he has done to me, and I'm put an end to all this. Who is the male that's showing up, do you know? His name is, his real name is Rogan, but he goes oh, by hold the name. Hold on, Rogan, what? Oh, he's, oh, he's, yeah, he's a nice guy. Z as in zebra. Z. Z as in zebra. Oh, Z as in zebra. Yeah, yeah, Z as in zebra. Oh, he. Okay. So he, right. he was coming to your house? Yeah, like this guy has been running his mouth for the last couple of years, and like he's wanting to fight and this and that and the other, and like, and I get it, like, you know, it's an online thing, but it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I, my biological father has lost his job because of it, right. and we're not the only one that's going through this. Okay. Because I did some research last night, uh -huh. and I actually found out that he is actually part of a uh, online sex trafficking and extortion ring. Okay. All right. Well, what's your name, sir? Chance Wilkins. That's Chance W I L K I N S. So when the day finally came, and with this trap set. Cyrax would go live again in an attempt to show the world boxing skills he wasn't planning on using. And it was at this point in the video I was certain that this guy was the world's greatest method actor and was just trolling all of us. Then I remembered that I had just heard actual phone calls to actual police officers and realized, oh shit, this guy's just nuts. Marty, I hope you're ready. I hope you're fucking ready, kid. It ends tonight. I ain't running. 
So if you want to get your ass beat so bad, I'm ready for you. And I'm not running. You know where to meet me. And no, I ain't calling the cops this time around. Because being in frigid conditions like this is where I fight the best. And this ain't just me shit talking. This is me being ready to beat your fucking ass. Because I'm ready. I'm ready for you, kid. But I don't think you're ready for me. But we'll find out here in a few hours, won't we? You want to talk a big game? Well, we'll see if you can back it up. Which I doubt you'll be able to. I'm ready for your ass, Marty. <sighs> Sorry about that, everyone. If you guys are fighters, if any of you guys out there are fighters, or if any of you know anyone that's a fighter, you fighters know how it is. Gotta stay hydrated. I need to face you like a man. I don't want you sitting there bitching and crying like a pussy after I beat your ass. As Cyrex continued convincing himself that he didn't run away or even hear Marty show up last time, Marty decided to give him a call to make sure everything was still going forward. He refuses to meet a little Mike, so like he just won't do it. He's insistent that it's like on his his property. So yeah, I mean, I don't I don't anticipate anything uh, necessarily violent, but it can if it happens that way, then I'm prepared for it. That's where I'll be. I'm not I'm not gonna catch a 22 bullet. 22 custom bolt action sniper. Not tonight. <laughs> He's gonna yell at me from the attic window, probably. Probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If it isn't Cyrax. What the fuck do you want, <laughs> old piece of trash? Well, Cyrax, I'd like to meet up with you. Yeah, no, dude. You're a fucking slob ass pig. And, bro, let's be fucking honest. You and your little friends ain't nothing but a motherfucking joke, dude. You can suck my dick, you old ass bald fucking dick. Are you passing through Akron? Shut the fuck up, nigger boy. You're a little bitch. How about little Mike's? Don't trust and believe you, little bitch boy. Just show up here, you're getting your ass knocked the fuck out. How about little Mike's, And if I were you, I'd stay the fuck away. Why? Because you two show up here, I'm beating your goddamn ass. How about little Mike's, I don't give a shit. None, dude. You don't need to quit acting like you're a badass. Meet up a little mic. No, shut up, nigger boy. What are you afraid of? Shut up, you worthless fucking idiot. I can be there oh, tonight. Oh, dude. Dude, you make your ancestors look like shit. Sorry, I'm You see your good joke? You ain't shit, I never bro. that. You're an embarrassment. I never said you're that. You're an embarrassment. No, shut up. You're an embarrassment, you piece of trash. Sorry, you say you're an adult, but you act like a goddamn five-year-old, Sorry, dog. You say you're going to kick no, my teeth off. Shut up. Shut up! You act like a goddamn five-year-old. Shut the fuck up. Right. You don't have the right to speak. I think you do. Hey, let's go. Reality check for you murdering little bitch-ass fuck boy. Hey, how about we you, meet up a little Mike's? You don't own me, fat ass. How far are you from little Mike's? Like a half mile? You ain't showing up here, bro. You show up on a doorstep, I'm knocking your ass out. Yeah, if we meet up a little Mike's, you can knock me out there, right? No, bro. You're either going to show up here at my house or I'm knocking your ass out. Sorry, X. You always say that. Bro, no. Show up at my house or don't show up at all. Sorry, X. It's... Show, no. Show up at my house or don't show up at all, fat ass. Right, will you meet me you're outside? Scared. Will you meet you're me outside? Scared. Will you meet me outside? No, you're scared. That's why you won't show will up at my me house. Outside? You're a pussy. You're a pussy. Will you meet me outside? What's she saying? I'm going to unplug the internet. <laughs> I told her I'd do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm driving 300 oh, miles. Shut up, coward. I'm driving 300 shut miles. Up. You can walk shut out. Up. You can't walk a half mile. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We need Either you. show up to my house <laughs> or don't even fucking bother. Sarex, will you meet me on the car? Shut, shut up. You are a bitch, a well, coward. Sarex, meet me outside. Oh, no, shut up, fat ass. You won't meet me outside. You're a bitch. So hey, coward ass, you're fucking You're afraid man. to meet me a little bit. Shut up, you're boy. Afraid. You're afraid, Cyrax. <laughs> oh, the house phone. Hello? Hello, Sally. How are you doing today? Who's this? It's uh, Cyrax's friend, Martin. Okay. All right. Um... It seems your grandson has uh, been having a lot of issues with me lately. Um, I've been trying to ignore him, 
but he's really just causing quite a ruckus and making all these threats. Um, you know, one way or another, I'd, I'd like to resolve this. Here. Okay, he, he's, he's threatening me on a constant basis. Cyrex would continue to insist that Marty meet him at his house and not anywhere else, hoping Marty and the cops would show up at the same time, allowing him to tattle on Marty for all the trolling to the police. Cyrex would talk over Marty repeatedly like a coward, while Marty tried to confirm a new location. This would continue for a bit until finally an arrangement was made. Either show up to my house in the streets or don't bother showing up. Because, oh, if you don't show up, the whole world will know that you're a punk ass. And I don't think you want to be known as a cow. Either show up and meet me in the streets, or you're ass getting known for having a cow. Deal. Deal. Excellent. So, it sounds like we have an understanding. Excellent. I'm going to pack my shit up here, and, uh, should be there in about four hours or so. Yeah, so we said the streets, not his house. I'm not, dude, I'm not going to catch a fucking 22. He said the streets. He said... Streets, Marty. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you will. Oh, well, absolutely. Well, I gotta get my shit As Marty made his way toward Akron, a friend of his and fellow YouTuber Skull Kid would give Chance a call in order to confirm things as well. Strangely, Chance wasn't so enthusiastic sounding this time. What's uh, what's up? Uh, what's going on? How you how you feeling? Honestly, dude, I'm just ready to put this shit to bed and put an end to it all, dude. Say, so, w w where is the fight happening again? It's, it's not your house, right? It's, um... Yeah, it's literally at my house. Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, at, like, a, a deli or something, I thought Marty said. No, no, no. Classic hey. Games Canada is here, and he wants to know, uh, why... Excuse me, yo, what up, Classic? He, he wants to know why you blocked Marty on Facebook. Uh, wait. What do you mean, why I blocked Marty on Facebook? Like, alright, my whole thing with that is this. Like, after all the shit talk is done, you know, why keep a dude around that's just gonna shit talk, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, all he's gonna do is just shit talk, so it's like, dude, save it for the fight, man. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, uh, so, Chance, what have you done to get ready for the fight? Like, I, I know you had some energy drink, but you, you doing any, like, warm ups or. Oh yeah, dude, I'm been ready, dude. I'm just waiting for his ass to show up. Which, like I said, when he does, uh, uh, yo, dude, hold on, dude, let me get going, hold on. Okay. Oh, okay, and he, he hung up. Greetings, everybody. Yeah, pretty, uh, discouraging sign. Cyrex has blocked me on, uh, Facebook Messenger. I don't know what, what that shows as far as his willingness to uh, meet up and resolve this. With Marty blocked, he wouldn't have a way to get a hold of Cyrax directly. Skull Kid would make another call to Cyrax. However, The mailbox is belonging to 2348172418 is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. Please try again later. Well, I don't know what changed, I guess, in between me calling him last time and this time, but... Mailbox is full. I'll give him another call from Artie in, in a minute. School kid called Chance. His phone is off now. Cyrex would go completely radio silent, perhaps thinking that all of this would merely go away if ignored. But nonetheless, Marty continued his quest toward the Goblin Cave, while Cyrax played UFC on his Xbox, hoping the skills of the simulated fighters would transfer from the screen into his mind. And then... Marty arrived. I mean, uh, maybe like call the house phone? Um, here, I'd have to look for it. Um, 
but I definitely, did you see the light flicker? Yeah. Are you live? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why he does this. <laughs> like, why talk all that shit? For so long. He's, you know, he's not going to call the police this time. He can. I don't think we're doing anything illegal. No, we're just standing in the street. Accepting an invitation. Yeah, and it's not like you threatened him. He threatened you. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to resolve this, like, peacefully. Ideally. Come on, Chance. If you just want me to go away, I'll go away. There's a cat. I think that makes two pussies. Hey, kitty. Come on, Chance. Just talk. Come on, Chance. If you want me to just go away, you can tell me to go away. Let's see if we can see in there at all. Let's see if he's poking his head around. Hi, right, Katie. What does that say on the door? No loitering or uh, harassing? It looks different in the winter. It's like almost like a nicer house. It does um, look a little bit more cleaned up. Yeah. Sorry, so I'm not going to stand here all day, buddy. If you want me to go, I'll go. If you want to knock my teeth down my throat, it's fine, Chance. What a fucking bitch, dude. Chance, let's just talk. See, this is what I'm saying. He is going to be quiet. He's not going to go live. He's probably watching the live. And then when you leave, he's going to go live and then act like you chickened out. Probably. Pathetic. I might just have to get a hotel and stay overnight and... I know, man. Come on, Chance. If you want me to leave, this is like the friendliest cat in the world. Yeah. You think you need some french fries? I got some french fries in the car. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Do you know this guy over here? That house? Yeah. No. No, okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. How can they not know him? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you've got to hear this guy screaming all day, right? Actually, no. Oh. Oh, okay. I so, mean, I work all the time, but fair enough. they seem like quiet. They keep to themselves for the most. Yeah, if you have any kids, you should probably watch out. He's like a known pedophile. Um, <laughs> I have four. Keep them away from this guy yeah. right here. Yeah. He's Seriously. Okay. Yeah, he sent, like, some penis pictures to a 14-year-old girl. Yep, yep. I'm guessing that's why you're here. Amongst other reasons, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tell me what you will. Yep. God bless you. Good all right, have a good night. He's not gonna come no. I mean, you can stand here all night. Like, he's just not... It's not gonna happen. And the lights are on. Right. Is this what you wanted, Chance? That's how I want it. I hope you feel like a big man. How are you? Who are you? Uh, this is actually Marty, uh, Chance's friend. He invited me over here. Uh, no, he didn't. He, he definitely did. Hello, is that Ed? How's it going, Ed? I don't know you. No, no, not, not formally. What do you, what do you do? Chance invited me over here. Oh, yeah, right. He did, he did, he did. I was hoping we could resolve things... Well, go and ask him. Yeah. Listen, I feel I feel bad for you. They gotta deal with this shit all day. I don't know how you do it. Okay. What is okay? Well, let him know that I stopped by and. uh well, he didn't. He didn't ask you to stop by. He definitely did. He invited me over here. Well, he just told his mom. 
Well, he's, he doesn't always tell the truth, right? Okay. Loud and clear, Eddie. I, I, feel, I, I feel for you, to be honest. Um, All right. All right, man. All right. Have a good night. Wow. And so, Cyrax would send his grandmother and step-grandfather, Sally and Ed, out to save his life. After all that talk, all that boasting, all that hydrating with caffeine somehow, Cyrax would hide for the second time from his nemesis. Ed had said that Sally was on the phone with the police, and sure enough, that call was leaked as well. Okay, what's going on? Um, some type of guy from out of town, I don't know who he is, but he's... Uh, I've been causing problems with my son over the internet. Cyrax was thoroughly humiliated at this point. Not only did he lose, he would then confess to another YouTuber, Courtney, of his failed plan to trap Marty with the police. Everything that was going on over the last few years, yeah. and guess who, did, guess who never showed up? Marty? No, nope, the police never fucking showed up. Because I was going to make a fucking report and show them what he's been fucking doing and him and his little friends have been doing but the police never fucking showed up did you call the cop you called the cops yeah but they never fucking showed at all period they did not show when up when did you call the cops so marty comes there and he fucking hangs out no, like no i called the cops no i called the cops way before this shit this is like earlier today okay and what did you say to the cops i literally told the dispatcher like hey this is what's going on. I need an officer out here to show them what's going on so that I can take the proper actions to have this dealt with. Because I was going to keep quiet about it because like, I didn't want anything to fucking, you know, go down. But Marty running his fucking mouth and the cops not showing up, I finally said, fuck it. Since the cops aren't going to do anything, then fuck it. I'll deal with it on my own and I'll put an end to this shit myself. So I'm fucking tired of being pushed around. I'm tired of being taken advantage of, and I'm tired of being extorted by motherfuckers like Marty. And so, Cyrax would learn his lesson, confess to his crime, and at the end of the day, become You're a bet- You're over looking for you. But where were you, fat ass? <sighs> this fucking guy. Yeah, it's Rax. You know what he does. The coward of Akron did what he did best from the safety of his attic. So, we drove around for ten fucking minutes looking for you. Where the fuck were you? Oh wait, that's right. You weren't around. So that right there, you pussy ass windbag, makes you the fucking coward. Not me, motherfucker. So you can take your coward bullshit, sit the fuck down, and shut the fuck up. Around here, I rule shit. Not you, fat fuck. So if I were you, Marty, I'd shut the fuck up. Because right now, dog, I have more than enough evidence to have you locked away for the rest of your miserable fucking life, bro. My friend that passed away, whose name I'm not going to mention out of respect for his family, was the king of Akron. And guess what? I took the mantle. I took on that role in honor of him. So I run shit around here, homeboy, not you. So either step off. Or next time, I'm beating your ass, you fucking loser. Cyrax was feeling the pressure from his comment section, as well as other YouTubers who had been following him. So he tried a different lie. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I mean approach. <laughs> Come on, though, you know Rax, you always it's be lying. Like flipping a switch, really remarkable. Hello, everyone. This video is not going to be very long. After the events that just happened, not only over the last 24 hours, but what just happened a few minutes ago with a little boy getting hurt and getting shot and possibly killed. After today, I'm leaving the internet. And I'm going to be getting into a sport such as boxing, or UFC. Seeing that little boy get hurt and it possibly being aimed at me, me and my family are clearing the house. And after today, I'm leaving the internet. 
that gunfire, that could have been aimed at me. So after this, I'm not a coward. I'm looking out for my family. A little boy may have died because of something that these people were doing, trying to do to me. Two or three guys chased a car up this way of our street and shot at it. And a little boy got hit and possibly died. And to that little boy and his family, I hope and pray to God that your family is safe and I hope your little boy makes it. But after this, Marty, you get your way. I'm leaving the internet. And this isn't a joke. This is serious. So, yeah, nobody bought this, and surprisingly, I haven't heard him bring it up since. But Rax realized this wasn't doing anything, so he went directly after Marty's panel. This, of course, oh led to one of the God. greatest freakouts we, uh, of all time. We've got Cyrax that we're going to have today here. And Cyrax, if you're not going to listen at all, I I'm not going to be able to speak with you. But here's what I'll say, Cyrax, before you hop on and start screaming. You knew what time I would be there. I get there. Your attic is completely dim, right? Which I can't imagine at 1030 at night that there isn't some sort of uh, electronic glow in there. Um, you have to send out your, your grandparents because you're too afraid. And there's no way that you didn't hear the commotion. So I'll let you respond. Marty, what is it going to take for you to leave my family alone, huh? What happened? Marty, shut the fuck up. This isn't a bell bro. <laughs> shut up, murder it, boy. You don't know what's going on. It somewhere. happened less than 24 bro. hours ago. Yeah, Marty, listen. Pass. Marty, listen to me, man. My family's been through enough already. You bring it all upon them with your tough guy bullshit. Why don't you just admit you're a scared little bitch? Marty, just shut the fuck up and let me speak on something, bro. Okay, because of you and your little bitch goons, a 13-year-old little boy died today, bro. I know those bullets were meant for me. I know what you did, dog. Do you not understand that you're a fucking bitch and a coward who deserves to be killed? Do you... Then why didn't you kill me, Cyrax? Then why didn't you kill me? I was right there. Where were you? You you involved your family to defend you. You were the one who involved your family to defend you because you're a little bitch. Marty, just shut your goddamn mouth. Oh, hey, you're not the badass that you claim to be, you fat. I, I, I don't claim to be a badass. I'm not the one who claims I'm going to knock anyone's teeth down their throat. That's you. That's you. What happened? You know, shut the fuck up. Don't you dare fucking mute me. Because of you targeting me all these fucking years, my family is possibly falling apart. Thanks to you. Sorry, Dax, it's because of your cowardice. It's because of your actions. I, I accepted an invitation. Marty, by the way, so... Oh. So, oh my god, dude. <laughs> what, a, what a brave move. What Protecting his move. family with his genitals. Yeah, he's jumping now. He's jumping now. Hang on. Hey, Marty, you want my dick so bad? Come suck it. You want my dick? Suck it. Suck it. Sex, were you just gonna whip your penis out at me last night? You're damn right I am. You're damn right. Come on, Dick. Suck it. Suck it. Better yet, watch me out here so I can plant this in your fucking skull where it belongs, bitch. You're a little bitch. A coward. A fuckbag. All you've done is attack me and make me feel like fucking shit. I was there to go and see you, and you hid behind your family. You sent them out there because you were too afraid. Why did you hydrate last night? I remember you hydrated. For what event? What event did you hydrate for? Fuck up, bro! This whole world don't revolve around you, nigger boy! And it don't revolve around your pussy ass! Fucking retard. Let's see how much you're retarded and coward you are. Let's see how much you're retarded and coward I am when I beat your fucking face oh in! Oh my god, you can't say that anymore! Bring your ass down here, then, bitch! What? Let me speak <laughs> your ass, nigger! <laughs> hey, nigger lover! Hey, <laughs> hey, dude! Hey! Hey, Hitler's a saint compared to you. I love it. Hitler's a saint compared to you, bro. Hey, Burger Boy, how'd you like a hammer in your skull next, bitch? Leave us alone now! There he is. Marty, I'm telling you, man, you need to stop because you are driving me to a very dark place that I don't want to go back to, Marty. And this isn't funny, man. This is not a joke. This is funny. What happened last night? What happened last night, Cyrax? What happened last night, little bitch? This place that I don't want to go back to, man.
You know what, Sarax? I, I would never tell anyone else to do this, but I would trust your gut on that. Hey, suck my dick. Hey, boy, lover, watch you suck my dick shit once so bad. Jack off, jack off on you. <laughs> Sarax, you realize you bring your family into all of this, right? No, I did not. You're the one that did it, you fat fucking lazy bitch. Sarx, who invited me to your house? Who invited me to your house? Was it Sal you're at? Calling me a murderer and saying you were gonna kill me. So you wanted my attention. Now you got it. How do you feel? Do you feel like a big man? Shut your mouth. <laughs> you are driving me to a place I don't want to go back to. And trust me when I say, when I go there, I will murder you and burn your boy. I'll rip your dick and jaw for your gun, you skull, and shove it down your throat. So trust me, you don't want to go there. You don't want me to murder you, bitch, because I will, and I'll have fun doing it too. You want to see a demon? You want to see someone with this? Well, come get me, burger bitch. Why don't you suck off that fucking faggot ass Jew bitch boy Marty's dick like the fucking faggot that you are, you overweight, fat fucking dirtbag. All you are is a fat fucking bitch that does nothing but run his mouth and laugh like a faggot. So if I were you, burger boy, I'd shut the fuck up before you get a goddamn screwdriver to the goddamn neck and I'd rip your head off. And trust Aww. me, you don't want me to murder your ass, because I'll do it in front of you. You didn't even have the balls to come outside and hit behind your grandmother and that. <laughs> this story would devolve into a series of sad and revealing phone calls to Grandma Sally, step granddad Ed leaving her, and other stuff that doesn't really pertain to this video. Now, if you'd like to get into all of that, you gotta head over to the Dust Smoking Hippies video for that. But I will play this, in case Dipshit ever sees this and is curious what he's doing to his poor grandmother. Like critical here, but, um, he... He's gotta do something, right? He, he's gotta do something. It's just a colossal waste of time. He, he's torturing you. And if it wasn't, if it, uh, uh, you know, I'm not... Yeah, but you guys are torturing him. I stopped paying attention to him for a prolonged while, and he started begging for my attention, but, you know, and, and it, it's weird, it's bizarre. If it's not me, it's going to sound bad, but if it's not me, it'd be somebody else. And I stopped paying attention to him for a while. He says all these things, and listen, we both know that he's just a big talker. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. I give up. I think I have a solution here, and, and I don't, I've thought about this. Um... Would you consider making them pay for like one third of the Wi Fi bill? How is he going to do that? I mean, McDonald's, Burger King, something to that effect. He refuses. Well, he seems to be uh, pretty addicted to this internet. Like maybe making him get a job and pay for it would motivate him. You don't hear the talks, he, the way he talks at me. It's the reason Ed left is because he disrespects me. It's, it's probably hard not to take personally. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are again. Fucking tell me about it, bro. So the next day, Cyrax was mad about a video from Bay Shaman mocking his terrible excuses. Fuck boy, Bay Shaman. Bro, let me, let me explain something to your little bitch ass, bro. Let me explain something to your retarded ass. Let me, let me explain to you to where even a five-year-old could understand you, bro. Okay? One, I did not punk out like a bitch. I wanted to fight Marty, but you can't even ask anybody for my mom's number. Matter of fact, why don't you ask Music Biz Marty? For my mom's number and call her and ask her yourself. Okay? Marty was supposed to show up by himself that night. But instead of showing up by himself. Do you know what he fucking did? He brought his little fucking friends from motherfucking backup, dude. To try to jump my ass, dog. He brought his little bitch friends like a coward. Who's the real coward? 
the one whose family turned the motherfucker away because he didn't show up by himself? And the dude that was willing to fight this motherfucker regardless? Or the motherfucker that brought his little friends to try to jump me, dude? Matter of fact, anybody out there that thinks I'm a coward, I'm not. I wanted to fight the motherfucker, but my family, without my knowledge, turned him away because that motherfucker showed up with four other vehicles wanting to jump my ass. Okay? I can fight your ass, no fucking problem, one on one. But instead, you want to sit there and run your mouth. Oh yeah, he showed up with four other fucking vehicles. There's a lot of stuff about Cyrax making calls to Marty after he left, Marty trying to meet Cyrax at a hotel and Cyrax refusing, and just more of the same excuses, including Chance getting back on panel for this. No, this ain't about that, Marty. So let that the fuck go. This ain't about... Actually, you challenged me to a fight like four hours ago, dude. What do you mean? Past is in the past, Marty. Past Marty, is in the past. Shut the fuck up and quit trying to twist it, bro. This ain't uh -huh. about that, that's man. That's this that's is that's beyond that, that bro. Twist. This is about what you've done to me all these no years. No ruining twist. my no fucking life. No twist, Cyrax. No twist. You invited me over there to fight you again. Like yep. hours ago. You need fucking help. Cyrax, you were the one who invited me over to your house, dude. What do you mean? Like, if anyone's asking for anything, you're asking me to go over there and see you, and you were too afraid. Marty, sure. hold on for a minute. Marty, you and I both know that I did not hide, bro. My family turned you away. There's no way you didn't hear that I was outside your house. There's no way. When you showed the fuck up, you did not show up by yourself. You sh In fact, it was Angela. It was Angela, and she's not my girlfriend. You know who my girlfriend is. See, the... This right here is why it's impossible to fucking talk to you. You got 10 seconds, I got 10 seconds, okay? No, there is no 10 seconds. You're gonna fucking quit, and you're gonna let me fucking explain the full story. And you're not gonna fucking uh, meet me, bro. Okay, so. Yes, Marty. Yes, Marty. We're not doing this by your little bitch rules. We're Let's doing this the story, by Marty. Okay, all right. We are doing this the reality way, Marty. When you showed up, you did not show up by yourself. You showed up with four other motherfucking cars. Oh, kitty. Oh. You're the one that's Cyrax. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know he's gotta be a friendly cat if uh, he goes up to Cyrax. And that's why my family turned you away, because they were afraid that you and your little goons were gonna fucking jump me. So, Cyrax, you're so full of shit, dude. You invited me over to your house, you knew when I would be there. I was there when I told you I'd be there. So why weren't you there, Cyrax? Why weren't yep. you you called the police ahead of time, Cyrax. You admitted it. I'll be honest with you, Marty. If you were any kind of a fucking man, you would have yeah. shown up by yourself. With you called the police ahead of time. You called the police ahead of time. That's why you're no man, because you have to hide behind your son of a fuck. She's not my girlfriend. You hid behind your grandmother after inviting me over to your house, Cyrax. How is that not the most pathetic thing in the world? You're not the king of Akron anymore. I'm the king of Akron. Bitch made, bro. You can't. I, I, listen, I was outside your house, right? You knew when I was coming by, and you hid behind your grandmother, Cyrax. Why did he block me on Facebook? Why did he make it impossible for me to contact him? He just wanted an excuse to lie. I, exactly. Uh, Cyrax would do another cry stream looking for support, but of course found none, and it doesn't address the non-fight much. There's more pertaining to taxes, tarot cards, and Cyrax getting taken by Marty faster than Epstein took- <laughs>
Uh, let me know if you guys like this documentary style thing. It's not going to replace the normal voiceless edits I do, but, um, you know, just something fun, something different I thought I'd try. But, uh, you know, let me know if you liked it. If not, that's all right. We'll move away from it. I appreciate you watching either way. And in the event this reaches Cyrax, I'd like you to know. Cyrax, Chance, uh, Toe Gracer, Odd, Eyeless Art, uh, Cyrax with a PSY, Freak Show, Chance Wilkins, whatever the fuck you're going by now. You are one of the worst human beings on the planet. You are a racist, you are a misogynist, a homophobe. On top of all of it, you are a hebophile. You're an ableist. You are gross. You're insulting. You are full of projection and deception. You are... You are a coward. Just an overall terrible person. And you deserve every terrible thing that comes your way. And I, uh, I genuinely hope that um, you have the absolute worst possible day you can have. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, go fuck yourself. As for the rest of you, I hope you all have wonderful days. Thank you one more time for watching. It is your friend, Metal Gear Rax, and, uh, yeah, have a good day.